have brought him billions at the box office, but Harrison Ford has come from some pretty humble beginnings. An average student, he dropped out of college to give acting a go, but after little success, became a self-taught carpenter. He didn't totally give up on the dream, and after director George Lucas hired him to build cabinets in his home, Lucas cast him in his film American Graffiti, and finally, by the age of 31, Ford was noticed. His initial acting struggle has kept him grounded, never taking his success for granted. People are invariably uh, generous and nice to me. I think of them as customers. I think of them as satisfied customers if they're asking for some memento of, of uh, our meeting. And it seems uh, a small enough price to pay for, the, uh, for what they've given me in my life. Four years after his role in American Graffiti, George Lucas cast him as Han Solo in Star Wars, which back then was the highest grossing film in history, making him a superstar. Another four years on, Ford was cast as a legendary Indiana Jones in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Four years later, he received Academy Award and Golden Globe nominations for his role as John Book in Witness. And more successful roles, many of them sequels, kept coming. Of all the characters he's played, action hero Indiana Jones is his favourite and the one he's most proud of. After four instalments of the franchise, generations of fans agree. I knew what, when we were making the film uh, what virtues it had. I knew that it was uh, really good storytelling, really good filmmaking. It was funny. It had a great deal of adventure and surprise. For Harrison, the most important part of his career has been choosing the right roles, and he's totally nailed it. Yeah, acting has never been hard for me. I, I mean, there, I have learned a lot about acting in the process of doing it, and I, and I would hope that I have become a better actor. But at no point was it really hard for me. What, was, what, what, what is hard, the difficult choices are, um, um, in the area of choosing what to do. Demanding more than $20 million a movie has put Harrison amongst Hollywood's richest elite, but he's committed to sharing his wealth around, especially supporting environmental causes. There are charitable endeavors that I think are worthy of support. And if somebody offers me a certain amount of money to do something that will take me one day's work, two days work, and will bring great profit to me. That's not money I keep for myself. I give it to somebody else. After two marriages bearing four children, he's now with actress Callista Flockhart, who's 22 years his junior and has joint adopted her son, Liam. He may be a grandfather and fast approaching his 70s, but he shows no signs of slowing down. But after almost four decades of acting, unlike many of his contemporaries, he's never had any ambition to get behind the camera and direct. Why well, trade uh, the best job in the world for the hardest job in the world? I have uh, already devoted, I usually devote about six months of my, of my year uh, to filmmaking. I have no ambition to devote the rest of my, of my year to filmmaking. That's why I don't want to direct, I don't want to produce, I don't want to develop material. I want to stay as far away from the movie business as I possibly can, except when I'm working. Harrison Ford has become a highly respected silver screen legend, having starred in some of the most successful movies of all time. Not bad for a college dropout. Stay tuned to Star Picks for more of the movies you know and the actors you love, broadcasting glorious high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. It's altogether better on screen and at mnc.tv.